What is going on today, everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I am because right behind the screen, I just had a box come in today and I could not wait to open it. So lo and behold, I've got a new helmet that came in the mail. It's something that just came out and I hope that you guys are kind of excited to uh, to see it. So without further ado, let's uh, let's go ahead and open this thing up. So I just got this helmet in the mail. And I want to go ahead and open this thing up and take a look at what we got going on with this guy. Got an owner's manual. We got some brochure, a cool sticker. That's that. And now let's go ahead and open up this guy right here. Charge cable. I think that's all that's in there. That's it. So this is the new 509 Mach V Mach 5 uh, Commander Helmet. So this is the new Street Edition. Now 509 is usually known for their snow stuff, but they've come out with a new street version of their helmet, which is just awesome. There's a whole bunch of tech pa packed into it, and for the price point, it actually isn't too bad. I've gone ahead and I've taken off the clear visor you have to because I can't handle the clear visors. Plus, it matches my um, Icon variant that I have. So now, I've got this helmet, which is going to be my street bike, my fast one. And then the mess around helmet is going to be my variant. So, let's go ahead. Let's dive into this. Let's, let's actually grab my other helmet. We'll take a look at that one compared to this one. So, right off the bat, you can definitely tell which one is which just staring at it. Now, the Icon does have a face shield that comes down kind of to a point like this, but this is the new 509 one, and I just wanted to try this new system out. Now, the Icon has its own speaker system, its own separate speaker system, so this is a Senna 30, and it I had to tear everything apart and put it all together, put it in there, whereas the new uh, 509 mock helmet has the Car Cardo, Cardo system built right into it. So you've got speakers or controls on both sides of the helmet and a rocker to control everything that you want to listen to and do. The center works great. It's all on this side. I kind of know the system now, so that's easy for me, but now I'm going to have to learn this new system. So both of these helmets are DOT and ECE compliant. So they're both rated for wrecks. They're both rated to protect your noggin if something happens. But the main huge difference on the backside is there's actually a light right here for the tail light or chase light is what they're calling it. So people can see behind you and have a little bit of a visual representation on where your head's at and where you're looking. Both helmets have plenty of vents on it. The Icon's got a couple up top. This has got one up top, but the main difference is these Venturi tubes that pull air through and then suck air out as a Venturi system. So that's keeping the inside of the helmet dry, all that moisture pulled out, versus this Icon or every other helmet is forcing air in to force air out. So it's just a little bit different system, plus it puts two cool giant intakes um, right there on the front of the helmet.
So on this helmet, there's a bunch of cool features that it's got, but I think the one that I'm really the most excited about is uh, this chin strap. So if you go ahead and it's got this fid lock that they're calling it, but all you do is just pull on this little red strap right here, and now both sides are completely open. And it's held in there just by magnet. So that's probably the coolest thing that I'm actually looking forward to on this. Because it goes together and you can hold yourself in. But if you want to get out, there's no more pushing the chin strap open and trying to like squeeze your head through. The other thing I'm really excited about is it's got a pump up. So you remember the Air Jordans from back in the day where you can sit there and pump up the shoes and make them fit a little bit better. This is the same thing, but it's pumping up the ear pucks on the inside here. And if you listen, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it will actually um, pump up those ear pucks in here and get a better seal around your ears. So that's awesome. It helps with getting the helmet on and off. The thing I hate about the icon is I'll go to put it on. A, my strap, my strap, I don't like undoing them, I'm not gonna lie, my strap, I push all the way to the front and then put both hands around to try to get my head in and my ears still fold down and I have to sit there, wiggle the helmet side to side to kind of get my ears setted, setted, set in the um, ear pockets. I'm noticing with the handful of times I put the mock on that that doesn't happen to me, which is a very big annoyance on this one. Now, both of them are mediums. This is a medium and this is also a medium. The icon fits a little bit looser, but it holds better. It's shaped more towards my face. The mock is definitely tighter, and it is looser when I shake my head side to side. So there is a little bit more movement, but it is tighter on my head. So a little bit of give and take there. It's just what I've noticed from the first couple times. Now, this is what a four-year-old helmet, and this is a four-day-old helmet. So there is going to be some differences. The other thing is, is you can really see, you can see really well through this lens versus the icon lens is very, very mirrored and you cannot see really anything through. I mean, you can kind of tell, but not as much as the mocks. One thing that I have noticed that's irritating me already about the mock is the visor. Now, to put the visor up, it's been a two-hand job the whole time. For some reason, the first click, fine. The first click goes up pretty easy. Then the second click really needs a lot of force to get it up to the next click. And even coming down is the same way. The, that down click just does not like to do it. Now, that might get better over time as things kind of wear in, but for right now, it's very, very rough to get the lens up and out of your way. Now, a lot of times it won't come up until the very, very end, and most times it'll just be doing this. It'll just hang out, so get that fog kind of out of the lens and make it so you can see, then pop it back down, which that is, the first click is easy, super easy, but the next one going up is very, hard to get it to go up and then coming back down is the same way so that's what's been irritating me so far on it now one thing i want to check especially with the electronics part of it is how intuitive are things to do so the lens is actually very very easy to take off and i'll make a video on that one but all you do is basically lift it up there's a little tab to pull down and you can pop everything out pop a new one in and then slap it down that easy Variant, you gotta take screws out and get things kinda, you gotta take pieces off to take a screw out to pop a new lens in, and it can be kinda cumbersome. So, uh, it is what it is, each way has its own system. I don't change the lenses out that much, so the variant isn't a huge deal breaker for me. It is what it is, do it once and you're done. The next thing is, is how intuitive are, are things? I mean, it's got electronics on it, so how, how do you start it, and then how do you play with it, right? Main thing is how you turn it on. So it took me a second to kind of figure it out. There is a power button and a V button for their mock. And then on the other side, you have your play button and then a phone button and then a rocker. So this rocker kind of is a, oh, a rocker roller type of situation. But to get it on, took me a minute, but you push both of them for two seconds. 
and then the lights will come on. Phone connected. It'll say some cool stuff, and then you're connected. Go ahead, and you can play things, and then after that, it's kind of how do you connect your phone and go from that. The owner's manual. That guy's got all that stuff for you, so when you get yours, set it up that way. But intuitively, turn on, turn off. Turns on the light in the back, and then turn off two seconds, both buttons, and it will tell you. Seventy-five percent. It'll tell you how much battery you have when you turn it off, and the lights go away. So far, I am in love with the helmet. It looks awesome. I did wish I got an exposed carbon, but at the end of the day, it is awesome. This is the only one that they have right now, and I wanted to check it out because I've liked 509's products for a long, long time. Now they've got a new street helmet. I want to check it out. So let's check it out. I'm going to give my review on it here in a little bit. I want to ride with it for a couple days. They do a couple good rides, switch back and forth between my icon and check things out and see how I like it versus the icon. Because the one thing I didn't like about the icon is the one thing that makes it so awesome is this duck bill on the front. So this visor, it makes it awesome. But when you're going on the freeway and you go to look and it rips your head, it's just it's getting old and that's fine at the streets if i'm riding the supermoto totally acceptable it's fine it, we're not going fast we can mess around still look cool this helmet has a purpose now i have two helmets and each one has a purpose one's for the sport bike one's for the messing around bike so hopefully that's enough rambling um if you guys are getting this helmet i i advise you to so far my first look first impression i love it it's been awesome so far i haven't dealt much with the car cardo system but as i'm getting into it and playing with it more it seems to be a pretty useful system the wheel is nice i, I think i like it a lot better than the senna setup where you're spinning a dial and then you have to click it or click and spin to do a next song so I gotta figure out how to change things and do some other things, but for right now, I'm kinda liking this setup versus the Senna, but time will tell if that's actually how it is. If you like what we're doing here, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. Leave a comment if you're getting one of these helmets. If you have an icon variant, what do you love, what do you don't love? If you have a mock, I wanna know if you guys have a mock. Drop it down below, let me know, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. So if you're creeping on people, it's just, just going to have to be a little bit more nonchalant.